Sandies, welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new, hi, my name is Sandy Harkeen and I absolutely love makeup. Like I love makeup so much. <laughs> um, and welcome to my beauty space. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you guys like what you are seeing so far. Um, but yeah, you guys, today's video, I'm gonna be doing this smoky eye for you guys. I know that a lot of people get really scared when it comes to doing like the all black or brown smoky eye because some people say, I look like a panda. Um, or I just literally look like I got punched in the face or it looks like I haven't slept in like four days so <laughs> I know that a lot of people have a really hard time doing a smoky eye and trust me it took me the longest to learn the tips and tricks and like how to do a all over lid smoky eye um but there's also different types of smoky eyes so you can definitely do a smoky eye like this where you only focus towards the outer corner and just darken up the waterline um to make it look very catty and very smoky and sexy and very very wearable um so i definitely wanted to create this makeup look for you guys um so i do really hope that you all enjoy it as much as i do because this is definitely a makeup look that i would normally wear um don't get me wrong i really like dark and black smoky eyes too but sometimes I just love something bronzy, simple, and still look really smoky. So I really do hope that you all really learn from my tips and tricks today. It's super easy, I promise you guys. Um, and you guys can definitely nail this. So please tag me on Instagram if you do recreate this look so I can see what you guys have done. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get started. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like it so far. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see for makeup tutorials and if you guys would wear this makeup look. Um, and basically, for this video though I'm um, really quick I only did my eyes I didn't do my foundation and all that because I've already done videos where I show my um, foundation routine um, I'll link it up here if you guys want to see my recent video I have uploaded the way that I do my foundation and apply my concealer um, so definitely check those videos out um, but I only focus on the eyes for today I'm gonna go ahead and just zip it and shut up and let's get started <laughs> So for today's palette, you guys, I'm going to go into the Soft Glam palette by Anastasia. Mine's a little dirty. <laughs> Awkward. I'm going to go into the color Burnt Orange and my Morphe M441 brush. This brush, you guys, it's honestly one of my favorites because it's so full. And I love how fluffy this brush really is because it really gives me that perfect blend. Um, and it's also really perfect for beginners. So you guys, definitely check out this brush. It's only $6. Um, so with any neutral brown, um, works for this look. But I kind of want mine to look a little bit more like a a bronzy orangey color so that's why I went in with burnt orange um, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be placing the brush towards my outer corner and then I'm gonna start to just warm up my outer corner I do leave my lid empty because we're just gonna focus on the outer portion of our eye first and then we'll start to work in towards the crease and then all the other stuff um, but just make sure that you are taking your time and blend so what I like, normally like to do is I like to do patting motions first and then I'll go into like circular motions and then I'll start to go back and forth um, this is the way that I really like to really blend out my eyeshadows um, normally people don't take their time when it comes to the transition colors because they kind of push it to the side and they're like oh it's just a transition color no se va a ver and you know blah 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 but honestly it's like the most important step because you are kind of layering the first layer so you want it to be you want it to be very blended um, and ready to go to blend all the other colors Next, picking up my Morphe, the M433 brush. Um, if you guys have been following me, you guys know that I absolutely love this brush so much. It's seriously like a magic wand. Like, it blends your eyeshadows to perfection. If you guys really don't have this in your kit, I definitely recommend this. Um, I promise you, um, you will not regret it. Um, it's so tapered, so it fits really well into my crease. And I don't know, like, whenever I use it to, whenever I use it, when I use um, colorful eyeshadows, like, it just blends everything so perfect. And I honestly cannot live without this brush um so but what i'm doing is i'm picking up the color rustic in the palette it's a more of a darker brown and i'm going to start to darken up the outer corner and begin to smoke it out um i do also warm up my lash line as well um, but all i'm doing is using padding motions and then going back and forth patting again and then back and forth um, but I'm not going in with too much product I honestly just dip the brush just a little bit into the pan and then I, I go in and I start to blend um, so remember that when it comes to smoky eyes you definitely want to always start with very little product and then work your way up and build up with more intensity 
Taking the original brush that we started off with, with no product, I'm going to start to blend both of the colors together. Now, the reason why I do go in with no product is because we're trying to focus on blending first. Um, and blending these both together will make it a really good base for our darker shadows. So, the next shade that I'm going to go ahead and go in with is Cypress Umber, which is the dark brown. And I'm going to do the exact same um, steps that I've been doing, warming up the top lash line and then warming up the outer corner and we're going to start to actually flick the product outwards again kind of like on what i was mentioning before to create more of a cat eye um, so that's all i'm going to be doing and again just very little product too and then you can if you want it to look a little bit more brown and more warmer definitely go in there and add more and start to layer um, but i want it to be very soft um, and but totally up to you with whatever your vibe is going for Taking my M441 brush, I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing and going into burnt orange and start to add a little bit more towards the crease and towards the inner corner and blending out the outer corner as well to make it look more soft. For my lid, I'm going to go into my Sigma the E25. I absolutely love this brush, you guys. I just love how flat it is, so it's really great for applying matte eyeshadows. So I'm going into the KKW Beauty, the Volume 1 Smoky Eye Palette, and I'm using that bone color. Absolutely love that color. I've been using it a lot lately. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and just place this on our lid, and then we're going to highlight our brow bone. Now, you guys, when it comes to um, matte eyeshadows, I do go back into the original brush, and I pick up a little bit more of burnt orange, and I start to blend blend the outer corners and the crease um, it's really important that you do blend out matte shades you definitely don't want to see where the eyeshadow starts or stops especially when it comes to matte eyeshadows you want to make sure that everything is blended so take your time um, and then I do go into my KKW Beauty the black eye pencil um, it's super black you guys and it's very very creamy so that's why I love to use this liner um, it does bleed a little bit so you want to make sure that you are setting it correctly um, I am taking it to my tie line to tie line my eyes and then I'm going to start to smudge it onto my top lash line and then we'll blend it out in a little bit. I'm going into my smudger brush which is the um, Morphe S28 and it looks like Morphe no longer carries this brush you guys. I did get this brush a long time ago so I do apologize but you can also use whatever smudger brush that you have to blend out liner. Um, I can also recommend the Sedona Lace the EB21. I used to always use that one too. Um, so what I'm doing here you guys with absolutely no product I'm just blending out the liner. Um, the reason why I'm doing one eye first is because the liner dries really fast so you want to make sure that you blend it right away um, and then I do go in with the black eyeshadow from the um, soft glam palette and I start to blend out the liner and you want to make sure you guys that you're very gentle and blend very softly you want it to look very catty um, you can also go in and it's okay if it's messy um, because obviously a smoky eye is messy um, and it also looks really nice too um, but I want to keep it very soft um, so just smudge out the liner and go back and forth motions um, and just keeping it really close to your um, top lash line Dipping into Noir, the black eyeshadow from the Soft Glam palette, and using my pencil brush, the Morphe S20, and I start to set and smudge the liner. Um, I actually start to flick the product a little bit more out, um, and you want to keep the black mostly in the outer corner, you guys, and try to avoid smoking the inner portion of the eye um, too much since we want the focus to be more towards the outer corner of the eye to make it look more smoky. Dipping also back into Cypress um, Umber and I start to blend out the black too so that way it doesn't look super harsh with all the black going on. I still want it to have a little bit more of like a dark brown. Um, now with this pencil brush you guys, unfortunately it doesn't have it on Morphe either. I think what happened is that I actually bought a set a while ago and I think those brushes came into that set. So I'll try to find the set for you guys and I'll list it down below. Um, but any pencil brush would work for this look. Going into my Sigma, this is their Wicked Gel Eyeliner in black, of course, and going into my MAC 266 brush, I'm going to start to place the liner towards the outer corner. Um, so we're going to try to connect it towards the top um, portion of our eye, um, and then we're going to place it into our waterline. Now, with this, you guys, we only we don't want to take it too far into the lower lash line. We want to keep the um, inner portion of our eye, the liner, mostly very skinny and very thin, and we're going to warm it up and extend it out a little bit more towards the outer corner to make it look more like of a cat eye and more smoky. 
Going into a little bit of the black eyeshadow from Soft Glam and I'm going to go in and start to use that same smudger brush by Morphe and start to smudge out the lower lash line. But like I mentioned again, we're only going to focus more like darkness towards the outer corner and very, very light into the inner portion of the eye. We don't want to bring it too far down lashes you guys i actually got this as a gift from one of my friends um she went to la recently so i think they're from the callejones so i have no name but any lash style that you want to wear totally up to you this is more of a wispy style so that way you can really see the eyeshadows peeking through the lashes for my lower lashes, I'm going to go into my Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced Cosmetics. And I love this mascara, you guys, because it really makes my lower lashes look really long. So, I'm obsessed. And then for my lips, I'm going to go into my Morphe Spiffy Lip Liner. These are only $3, you guys. When I went to the Morphe store in Arizona, I literally wanted to buy every single lip liner. I've got about like three, I believe. Um, and I am so obsessed. I love how creamy they are. I thought they were going to be more like the MAC lip liners which i love the mac ones but i feel like they're a little too dry but these ones were perfect creamy and the price was unbelievable so i'm absolutely obsessed with their lip liners then for lips i'm going to my hank and henry liquid lipstick in the shade 1985 absolutely my top favorite nude at the moment i absolutely love their formula and it really lasts a very long time and that completes the look for today, you guys. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. It's super easy, very wearable, and it fits all skin tones. Um, and what else do you really want? <laughs> um, so let me know if you guys learned from this video down below. And let me know what else I can improve on when it comes to teaching you guys eyeshadow looks. Um, but of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you did. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!